Welcome to the channel. We invite you to listen to our newsletter today. Frederick Forsyth talks about Russia on a downward spiral. Wholly contradictory versions of the Russian economy are racing round the ether. Moscow avers it will shrink by about 3% this year due to Western sanctions. First Deputy Premier Belusov claims it will be down 2% this year and 1% next. The analysts at Yale University have a completely different view, backed by unconventional data sources. That means espionage and is certainly more reliable than officialdom, in any country. These sources report that the flight of foreign businesses has now reached a point where the departure has caused a reduction of 40% of the Russian GDP. Predictions from behind the Aris claim Putin's economy is about to implode if this goes on, and there is no sign of it stopping or even relenting. The Russian people, after centuries of dictatorship under Tsar or Commissar, are famous for accepting suffering that would cause an uprising among people expecting better, but when the winter misery strikes how much more can they take? And all to indulge Putin's obsession to conquer Ukraine. Russia has a long history of brutal leaders but also of violent changes of leadership, usually triggered by a revolt inside the citadel of power. Other covert reports suggest disenchantment with him is not confined to the dull cues. A red light's now flashing very close to the Kremlin. This long, hard, dark and freezing winter will tell us. It seems yet another Russian tycoon who fell out with Vladimir Putin or criticized his Ukraine war has taken a skydive from a high window without the formality of a parachute. Someone must be keeping score but these accidents must be close to a score by now. Some have stopped a bullet in the back of the head, others descended from penthouse to basement without waiting for the lift. Mr. Ravel Maganov, boss of Lukoil, went to a Moscow hospital for a checkup, found an open window on the eighth floor and went out of it. Now he not only takes drugs but forgets that the thug of the Kremlin also controls the underworld of the mafia and the legions of tyrants. This is the sixth incident this year. Rather a risky city for critics of the Ukraine war.